Hi everyone, wishing you all a Chodesh Tov and a Shabbat Shalom, Um Vorach. This week's Perasha, Perasha Mishpatim, begins with many of the laws between men and men. And the Perasha begins with the law of the Eved Ivri, the Hebrew or Jewish slave. Here is a man who stole, doesn't have the money anymore to pay back what he stole. And the Torah says, well, if that's the case, then he has to become a slave till he makes enough money to pay off his debt. How long is he a slave for? Well, the Torah says, the most he is a slave is till the seventh year. For six years, he is a slave. And then when the Shemitah year, the seventh year hits, he goes free. However, it's possible, it's possible that the slave likes his life. He likes it as a slave. You know, he has food and clothing and, you know, health insurance, whatever. He has everything. I like my master. He's a nice guy. He gives me shelter. He gives me everything that I need. And so I want to stay a slave. Torah says, well, if that's the case, then there is a procedure. The owner brings the slave to the courthouse and he pierces his right ear to the door. And Rashi tells us, quoting the Gemara, that the reason we do this is because this slave, this slave that heard on Har Sinai, don't steal, lo tignov, and he didn't listen. He didn't listen to one of those Ten Commandments. That ear is going to get pierced for not listening. Now, obviously, this has many questions, but two of them. Number one, um, if that's the case, that he's guilty for stealing, and that's why you're piercing his ear, you should have pierced his ear uh, six years ago when he stole. Why are we piercing his ear now? Only if he decides to stay forever. And question number two, Lotignov, actually in the Ten Commandments, has nothing to do with stealing money. I'm not sure if we knew that. Most people think Lotignov, don't steal money. Actually, Lotignov in the Ten Commandments refers to no kidnapping. Lotignov, who later on in Vayikra, is talking about stealing money. But the Ten Commandments is talking about kidnapping. And so asks Rabbi Schwab, what is going on? First of all, why are we piercing his ear only now? And the commandment doesn't even fit what you're talking about. It says Rav Schwab, actually, you're right. That has nothing to do with stealing. This slave is guilty of kidnapping. It says Rav Schwab, take a look. Six years ago, this guy stole. Horrible. But you know what? He went, he decided he's going to pay you back. And he goes and he, he becomes a servant to somebody else for six years. That's a very honorable thing, paying off his debt. God bless. Now, now the Torah is giving you a chance to earn back your freedom, to be your own person, to go out, start your life over. And the slave does not want to do it. I like it here. I think I'm going to be a slave forever. And this slave is guilty of kidnapping. You know who he's kidnapping, says Rosh Schwab? He's kidnapping himself. He is stealing himself selling himself, himself into slavery forever. You know, I once read a very interesting article about how they catch monkeys in the jungle. You know, monkeys swing, they're very hard to catch. What do they do? They bring a cage, they put inside of it bananas. There's a tiny hole on top of the cage, the only way to get in. Big enough to fit the monkey's hand. Well, the monkey sees the bananas, he wants the bananas. He sticks his hand into the hole. He grabs the banana, tries pulling it out, but he can't fit. He turns his hand this way, that way, but the banana will not come through the hole. The hole is just big enough to fit exactly his hand. And so the hunters come and they catch the monkey. Now, if we're there, we see this. What do we do? We yell, hey, monkey, drop the banana. Drop the banana, pull out your hand, you're free. But the monkey will not do it. The monkey is too attached. He likes the banana too much. You know, we all have things in life that we're grabbing. We all have things in life that we're holding on to. We all have addictions and attitudes and problems and things that we know that if we let them go, we will be able to become so much better in life, so much healthier, so much more successful in our relationships, so much more successful in work, in business, in anything that we want to accomplish. We just can't let go. And we have opportunities to let go. We have, we have moments like this Eve Divri that he can go free. That we can, we can remove ourselves from all of our bad habits, all the things that we are slaves to. We can become free. We can let go, let go of the banana like the monkey. We can get help. We, can, we have opportunities to, to just become free people. And you know what? It's hard. It's hard to let go. And I know that this one thing 
is holding me down. And if I could just let go, I will be so much happier. But it's hard. It's so much easier to hold on to it. To just, you know, keep doing what I do all day, what I've been doing for the past 50 years of my life. To just keep doing it. It's so much easier, so much harder to let go. The Torah reminds us, let go of the banana. Let go. Become free. Drop all those things that are holding you back in life. The Torah is teaching us to choose freedom, to free ourselves from all of our problems, to take control and to live the lives that we want to live. Shabbat Shalom.